Heart failure kills and it can cause disabling symptoms. I went to my GP with breathlessness thinking I had a cough or a cold and then wham, it hits you, you get a diagnosis of heart failure. Mortality for heart failure is around 20%. So one in five patients will not survive the first year. They're not just heart failure. They have diabetes, they have hypertension, they have atrial fibrillation, they have chronic kidney disease. With the increasing age of the population, these will really become uh, a real issue in the future. It is incredibly frustrating that with a bit more awareness and education, we can prevent a lot more uh, deaths. It's imperative we think about the diagnosis early. Then we can not only improve their life expectancy, but also reduce the hospitalizations. The 25 in 25 initiative is an aim or a goal to reduce the mortality from heart failure in the first year after diagnosis by 25% over the next 25 years. The solutions are patient-led, so that's why we think this is going to make a big difference. Nothing this huge or impactful was ever done by one person. Rather than us all working on a problem separately, working on it together, we're going to get much better outcomes. A multidisciplinary approach towards the patients of heart failure is very, very important. I really don't want all those people to have to go through the long process I've been through. We believe that will make a big difference to our patients and uh, to our society in the long term. We really do need everybody to join us to make a huge difference for the sake of us all. Together, we can turn the tide on this life-limiting condition. This is why we commit towards a common goal to reduce heart failure deaths by 25%. In 25 years.